My name is Nupra Patel, and I am a co-author of the commentary entitled Ethical Considerations in Adherence Research. We were motivated to create this manuscript because poor adherence to treatment is a common cause of medical treatment failure. One of the major complications that occurs with studying adherence is the potential for the study environment to influence the behavior of patients towards their medications. In other words, when patients know they are being studied, they can have the tendency to alter or improve their adherence behavior. There are several different methods of adherence monitoring, which utilize various levels of deception. First, there is full disclosure, in which all aspects of the study and monitoring are disclosed at the study start. Second, there is authorized deception, in which patients are informed at the start of the study that adherence monitoring may be used, but details are not given. Specifics are then disclosed at the end of the study. Next, there is withholding, which uses a debriefing after the study to inform the subject that adherence monitoring has occurred. Last, there is stealth monitoring, in which patients do not know they are being monitored and might not even know that they are in a study at all. There are several ethical considerations that must be made in studies using deception. Studies performed that don't inform patients about adherence monitoring need to balance the risks of deception with the benefits of the information that is being gathered. Ethically monitoring a patient's adherence to a treatment plan without full disclosure requires protecting the patient's rights, as well as upholding the fiduciary obligations of the investigator. Different approaches offer different benefits and have potential pitfalls. Whichever approach is used must weigh the risks of non-disclosure, such as mistrust between patient and researcher or the emotional impact that eventual disclosure may have against the potential for confounding the data with disclosure prior to the end of the study. Additionally, the researcher must examine the potential benefits that the data will have for the subjects as well as how that data might translate into helping other populations. Although adherence is becoming an increasingly studied topic, there remains a need for more deception in adherence research in the future to develop new interventions to improve patient adherence behavior. The insight gained from such investigations will have the potential to help physicians develop more effective and more prudent treatment plans to improve patient quality of life. Our commentary aims to define the various methods of adherence monitoring and provide a discussion of the ethical considerations that accompany each method as well as adherence monitoring in general. Thank you.